A particular calendar system known as the Islamic or Arabic calendar is used by the followers of the Islam religion and Safar is one of the notable months of the calendar. This lunar-based calendar is made of 12 months and Safar is in the calendar on which the amazement of a new Islamic year continues. Safar always comes in between two other Arabic months named Muharram and Rabi al Awal. This month starts just after the end of the Muharram month and finishes just before the Rabi al Awal month of the Arabic calendar. This is a good month to reflect on Muharram so that good deeds and habits can be continued all year. The meaning of the word suffer can be classified into two parts. Firstly, it means empty or void, which refers to the time when houses are left empty as people would go out looking for food or be in battle. Secondly, it also means travel or migration, which refers to the pre-Islamic Arabian time when Muslims flee the operation of Quraysh in Mecca and travels to Medina. The timing of Safar month is not fixed as the Islamic calendar is based on lunar not on solar which has no connection with seasons. The total days of the month can be both 29 or 30 days because the Arabic calendar is basically a lunar calendar where a new month begins with the sight of a new moon's crescent. As the Arabic lunar calendar depends on the moon, the year of its calendar is 11 to 12 days lesser than the Gregorian calendar and suffer migrants throughout the whole year. Surprisingly, most of the Islamic months are named according to ancient Arabian weather conditions same to one particular month, refers to one particular weather. But since the calendar is based on the site of a new moon's crescent, the months shift by about 11 days every solar year, thus the weather conditions do not necessarily correspond to the name of the months. However, Safar is a noteworthy month in the Islamic calendar because this is the month when many important Islamic events happen. Some of the events are based on religious texts like Quran and Hadith while others are based on historical events. Among many important events, the migration of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him from Makkah to Medina is the most important event. He migrated on the 27th night of Safar when he avoided being assassinated by the Quraysh. Moreover, Safar is the month when Fatima binte Muhammad got married to Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu. She was the beloved daughter of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Besides, this is the, of the martyrdom of Hassan ibn Ali radiallahu anhu who was the grandson of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Additionally, Safar is a precious month because it shows that Islam is the religion of peace and brotherhood. In ancient times, many battles occurred during this. As a result, Allah commanded the Muslims to move to Medina to avoid further battles which showed Islam to be a religion of harmony. Further, many Muslims who want a quieter experience during the Safar month, they can focus on worshipping Allah more in this month than in other months like Dhu al-Hijjah and Ramadan. Though this is not one of the four sacred months, worship during this month with pure intentions is also rewarded. So every Muslim should wrongful and sinful deeds during the Safar month. Instead, Muslims should have pure intentions to perform righteous acts more and more. For instance, giving extra charity, performing all obligatory prayers, spending more time in the mosque, performing more voluntary prayers, recitation of the Holy Quran and reading of Hadith are some notable acts of the month. Therefore, the Safar month has great prominence because of these great happenings in the Islam religion. There is an uncountable supplication to do for seeking the forgiveness and kindness of Allah in this holy month and every Muslim should consider Safar as the month of purification and devotion. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Assalamu alaikum.